Good afternoon, everyone, and a very, very special welcome to all of you, our valued first year students that are joining in on this afternoon's virtual session. I'm Gerald Alda, Manager of Student Engagement at the Division of Student Services and Development, and it is my absolute pleasure to be part of the team today that is here to warmly welcome you to your faculty orientation as part of your first year experience at the UE St. Augustine campus. If you are happy to be here, as well, happy that you are here, let us know in the chat. Don't be shy. Let us know that you're here, you're excited to learn, to share, to connect, because we certainly are happy to have you. So wherever you may be joining us from at this time, I want you to take a moment to congratulate yourself on being accepted to university and for being one step closer to achieving your educational goals. We at our campus, we are truly, truly honored that you have made the UB St. Augustine campus your choice for learning. And under the theme, discover your power, create your future. We remain committed to empowering you and supporting your success in your first year of study at our campus and beyond through your participation in our first year experience program. So this afternoon, students, is especially important and exciting as you transition to your new family at our campus's Faculty of Social Sciences, FSS. If you are FSS, please let us know in the comment section, right? Today, you will have the opportunity to learn so much more about the outstanding faculty to which you now belong, and you will get a chance to connect with some of the dynamic people that will support you through your university journey. We join proudly with you today in saying welcome to the FSS and welcome to the UE St. Augustine. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you at this time to Dr. Akola Lewis Cameron, Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences, who will take you through today's program. Over to you, Dean. Thank you very much, Jarrell. And as Jarrell said, it is indeed our absolute pleasure, my colleagues and I at the Faculty of Social Sciences, we warmly welcome you to the University of the West Indies and more specifically to the Faculty of Social Sciences. We will be spending about an hour with you just so that we can orient you to the key members of staff who you will be interacting with during your journey here at the UWI. And we also want to introduce you to a number of the services that are available. And more importantly, we take this opportunity to have your peers, your peers from the Guild of Students, uh, welcome you to the Faculty of Social Sciences. So I will just start off with a few remarks and then we will go directly into a welcome from the various heads of departments and we will proceed from there. So let me first of all start by saying that it's, it's Benjamin Franklin who said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And today, my colleagues and I, we, we recognize and applaud you for the investment that you are making in your personal growth and development. We expect that it will yield many lucrative returns now and in the future. We also want to thank you for choosing the UWI. We know that you have a lot of choice. And so we thank you for choosing the Faculty of Social Sciences as one of the vehicles that will bear the burden of that responsibility, uh, according to Benjamin Franklin. As many of you may know, most recently, UWI was ranked the number one university in the Caribbean, one that the Times Higher Education World Rankings has placed among the top 5% of 25,000 recognized universities globally. We are also the only Caribbean university to be ranked among the best. And so I can affirm that you have made a most excellent choice and we are most fortunate to have you with us. So let me tell you a little bit about this faculty that you, you are joining today. The Faculty of Social Sciences has committed and capable academic ad and administrative staff housed within four departments. These departments are the Department of Political Science, the Department of Economics, Management Studies, and Behavioral Sciences. And we are all eagerly waiting to work with you and to provide the support that is necessary 
for you to successfully navigate your way through your respective programs. Now, while we encourage our, all our students to focus on academic excellence, we also want to ensure that we produce well-rounded individuals who are able to build and sustain healthy relationships, not only with your peers, but with your prospective employers, with employees, as well as the wider community of which you're a part. We also desire that our students who are part of this great faculty can become deep thinkers, creators of solutions that can affect and change increasing societal challenges. So it is with this in mind that we want you to be clear at the outset that the vision for this faculty is to be socially engaged and solutions oriented. And you'll be hearing more about that uh, over your three years with us. So as a faculty, we will be providing you with the requ requisite support for you to become solutions oriented and socially engaged. As one author aptly puts it, it is our responsibility, which we take very seriously, to prepare you for worlds unknown, prepare your minds for thoughts unthinkable, and also to pre prepare your resolve for struggles unimaginable. And so we expect that in this new journey, you will carefully watch over your investment by doing what is necessary to experience maximum benefits. So just give me two minutes just to stress the importance of some of the basic actions required. Reading, asking questions, and there are no foolish questions, attending your classes and tutorials, engaging your lecturers for clarity of understanding, and of course, doing research. As basic as it may seem, it is actually what is required or what makes the difference between failure and success in this environment. I also encourage you to engage in various non-academic activities and some of which you will hear about today. So get involved in the clubs and the groups and the various sporting activities, professional development, community activities and the like. Take care of your physical, your emotional and your mental health. If you have a problem, do not suffer in silence. We are here to assist you in whatever way possible. So as the faculty continues to build relationships with external stakeholders, there will be many exciting opportunities through exchange programs, internships, community initiatives, seminars, all these activities that will allow you to interact with various industries and sectors and you will get exposure to practical aspects of your areas of study. So take advantage of every opportunity available to you. We also want to hear from you directly. And so we also encourage you to offer your services, offer your suggestions to the Student Guild as it pertains to the improvement of your UWI experience. The Faculty of Social Sciences, we work closely with our social sciences representatives from the Guild with a view of implementing positive change for the benefit of all. So let me just conclude my opening remarks by again welcoming you to the UWI, to the Faculty of Social Sciences family, and we wish you much enjoyable success in your time here with us. And so with those opening remarks, I want to give my colleagues an opportunity to welcome you. So as I in indicated, we do have four departments and we will start with the greetings from the head of the Department of Political Science, who is none other than Dr. Charlene Roach. So I will hand over to Charlene at this time. Good afternoon, I am Charlene Roach, and it is my pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to all our new students in this uh, new academic year. This year is going to be an amazing journey as we return to in-person classes. You will be experiencing the beauty in real time. And in keeping with our theme this afternoon, I would like to share three areas as you discover your power and 
I'm going to use a sports analogy because I love competitive sports. I'm always intrigued by the personal journeys of athletes and understanding their performance and how they got to where they are. So I am going to use these three areas for you DPS athletes and you'll be in training this year. And we will be working with you as your coaches in developing your best self. So here are the three areas. The first area is know yourself. Now in interview panels, they usually ask you that question. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your strengths, your weaknesses, how you've dealt with conflict, difficult situations, teams. So in this year of training, we want you to know yourself. So some of you already know your strengths, but we want to also work on those areas that you need some strengthening as an athlete. So some of you might find out in this training this year that you're not resilient because you give up easily and you need some stamina. So we're gonna help you in terms of encouraging you to persist, to apply yourselves, to not quit, even if you think you're not gonna be performing as you think you want to perform. We will help you. For some of you, your area of strengthening might be you put things off. And procrastination is a self-sabotaging behavior. We're gonna help you how to manage your time, give you strategies in terms of prioritization and flexible, flexibility and really trying to organize your schedule. And others might be a bit timid, like how I was, and need to build that confidence. And we will help you. We will help you to learn how to face your fears and to do it anyway and keep doing it. Keep doing it till you build that courage because we want you to be strengthened in those areas of weaknesses. And still yet, there may be some of you who have problems receiving feedback. When you get a feedback that you don't like, you get discouraged. We want you to be able to fail hard and learn fast. So make timely adjustments and don't repeat the same mistakes. And that's all part of your knowing yourself, you're building self-awareness, and you're gonna be able to manage yourself as a leader. And sometimes you might have to have conversations with yourself and tell yourself, buckle down, stop lying so much, stop being so distracted, take the feedback and use it because you're going to develop and help you to improve. Another area of your training this year is working in teams. More and more organizations are really looking for persons who can work well in teams. We want to encourage you this year in your training to get to know new people in your classes. Work with different people so that you can develop those powerful team skills. We want you to know that in working with others, you actually achieve more, and that's synergy. So in this process of empowering yourself, as you learn how to work with others, you are going to develop skill sets of harmonizing your ideas, sharing information, managing conflict, facilitating tasks, and building relationships. And these are going to be powerful team skills that you can actually use when you leave us and go to the world of work. And the third area in your training this year is making a difference in your DPS journey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote our former US President Jimmy Carter. And this is what he said about himself in making a difference. He said, and I quote, my faith demands that I have when, wherever I can, for as long as I can, with whatever I have to make a difference. So you might say, what do I have? You might have an idea, share your ideas in class and contribute to your team. You might say, wherever I can, whether you are here on campus and in life, please volunteer, serve in your student clubs and associations. And you might say, whatever I have, you have, you have skill sets, lead by helping others because we want when you leave here that you can leave a legacy and others can remember you and say I remember that good ethic wow this person was really professional she has or he had real excellence so as I end I want to welcome you again and I'm joined virtually by my colleagues Professor Anne Vassessa Dr. Vishnu Raghana Dr. Theodore Tudorui Dr. Mukesh Vazdio and Dr. Prema Raj and our committed and friendly administrative support team Okay, 
So that was the head of the Department of Political Science with those words of wisdom and encouragement. So I will hand over now to the head of the Department of Behavioral Science, Dr. Talia Esna, to bring her welcome remarks. Talia. Thank you, Dean, and welcome each and every one of you. Uh, this is a special day, it's a special orientation. And I say so be because we come from two and a half, almost three years of being out of this campus physically. So I know that over the last two years, we've been talking a lot about digital footprints as we have been greeting students over the past uh, two academic years. This year, it's no longer about just a digital footprint, but we are in a very new and special way, having our physical footprints, but more of a social one also, as we come on this campus in the next couple of days. I really would like to welcome you all. I think this is a special and momentous occasion. I remember particularly as I started to prepare for the session today, one particular author came to mind and his name is Chinua Achvi, and he's an African writer. And he wrote this book called Things Fall Apart. It was really about the story of a particular village um, that was really destroyed during a particular time in history. And part of the theme around destruction also came with another one about opportunity. And I think that this is so apt this afternoon because out of the pandemic, there's a lot of uncertainty, but I think the pandemic has also brought a lot of opportunities. And therefore, as you come to, to this faculty, and as you start your journey, I really want to encourage each and every one of you to think about the opportunity amidst the uncertainties. I want you to welcome the opportunities to embrace multiple disciplines while you are in your program. So even though you are coming to the Department of Behavioral Sciences, for example, where we have four different undergraduate disciplines in, in social work and sociology, criminology, and also in psychology, grab the opportunity to do minors in social policy, in anthropology, in criminology, or even minors outside of your department, in management studies, and in economics and other departments, and even faculties where opportunities exist. Right now, more and more, the world demands multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary employees, who are able to be flexible, agile, and to move across boundaries. Take the opportunities to do so. Take the opportunities to learn of your colleagues and what they're doing in other departments, to be involved in social activities, to register your social footprint. Take the opportunity to reach out to our staff. We have very competent, very welcoming, and, and ready staff who are all engaged to meet and greet with you. We have our administrative assistant, Ms. Rachel Darkai. She will leave her email in the chat and she's ready and willing to redirect your email as necessary. We have administrative officers attached to each and every one of our programs and they are dedicated to support you while you are here in your three years. They will be also very ready, ready and willing to greet you as you come into the program. One of the very beautiful things about behavioral sciences is that we have four undergraduate programs, but we also ensure that we have pathways to professionalizations even within this program so that we have the masters and MPhil and PhD all the way to the top. And in addition to that, one of the things that you also can benefit from is cross institutional exchanges, even while you are in the MPhil and in the PhD program. And therefore, the department is ready, willing, and well poised to start the journey with you and to continue that journey and prepare you to move in whatever direction that you wish to take while you are along that path. I want to assure you that just as much as you have uncertainties, that we are ready to define those pathways for you and to clarify all the questions that you may have. We are here with you. We are here to support you. We are the DBS family, and we are part of your family. Welcome, and we look forward to greeting you all as you come on the campus, hopefully starting very soon. Over to you, Jay. Thank you, Talia. So a warm welcome to the DBS family. And from one family to another, we go directly over to the Department of Management Studies, and allow me to welcome 
Dr. Shelly Ann Wilson, the head of that department. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, a very special greetings to our first year students. It is my pleasure to extend a warm welcome on behalf of the Department of Management Studies to all of you. We are extremely happy and very proud that you chose the UWI or UWE, as we call it, and that you chose the Faculty of Social Sciences for your undergraduate degree. You have made a enroll into university, and so I must say congratulations on taking this leap to pursue higher education. This afternoon, I really want to share a few points as you begin this journey at the University of the West Indies, and in particular, the Faculty of Social Sciences. It really is a fantastic time for you as you begin this journey, this adventure. You'll be joining a great West Indian institution where you will not only learn a discipline, but you will also learn about yourself, you'll learn about others, your colleagues, your, your lecturers, administrators, and you would learn more about this world that we live in. So firstly, I want to encourage you to embrace newness. Everything about this journey will be new to you. The campus will be new, your lecturers will be new, the course material will be new. You will be exposed to so much and this newness is what will allow for you to grow and develop. You know, many times in, in my classes, my students would say, you know, this class is hard or this topic is hard. And I always encourage them to change their vocabulary. The topic is not hard. The concept is not hard. It is new. And because it is new, you're not yet familiar. But over time, you get more and more more and more comfortable and you develop greater understanding and competency and oftentimes mastery. So at the start, now everything is new. Do not be afraid of newness. Embrace newness as you proceed on this journey. It's all about learning and growing. Secondly, as Dean um, spoke about, I want to encourage you to explore. So education, the pursuit lifelong learning, these are all about exploring. You're seeking answers, you're discovering, and I cannot emphasize enough that your exploration here on campus, here in UWE, is not only in the classroom, is not only your degree program, it's about the co-curricular courses, it's about exploring new skills, it's about joining clubs, going on internships, attending seminars, three years here or more to ask questions, to be curious about the world, to stretch yourself, to get involved. And lastly, I want to encourage you to be excited, even when it gets tough. So at the start of a journey, most journeys you're excited. You know, you have to plan for a journey, you have to organize the things you need to take you to take on the journey. So there's excitement, there's buzz. There's, you know, you have the feeling of butterflies in your stomach. So hopefully you are feeling excited right now as we are going through this orientation. You're excited about thinking about getting your academic advising, stepping foot onto campus. If you could just bottle that excitement, take a picture of yourself today so that when things get tough, and they will, when you have however many assignments do you, when you have to deal with how many group members who are not cooperating, when you have your demanding final exams, try to remember that excitement. Remember why you are here to help you, you know, pull through. So that's really what I have for you today. As you discover your power, I am encouraging you to embrace newness. I'm encouraging you to explore I'm encouraging you to be excited and maintain that excitement during the tough times. I wish you all the very best, and I'm looking forward to seeing you during registration and seeing you on campus when classes start. So all the best to you, and I'm going to pass it back to Dean Lewis Camera. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shelley. And the nuggets continue to pour in from the department heads. And so at this time, I would hand over now to the head of the Department of Economics, Dr. Anne-Marie Mohammed. 
Uh, as you heard, I am Anmari Mohammed. I am the head department of economics, and it's certainly my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the Faculty of Social Sciences. It is always special to welcome students who will be on this campus for the first time. I hope that you will discover, just as I did in my many years at UWE, that having entered a lively, you have entered a lively, challenging, diverse, and certainly a warm community. Also, to any parents who may be logged in with their, with their student, with the student, I look forward to getting to know this exceptional adult that you have raised, and also to providing a rich array of opportunities for them to learn, for them to grow, and for them to discover who they are, as well as how they would like to make a difference in this world. New students, as you set out on this incredible journey that will help you to shape the thinkers, the workers, the citizens, and the difference makers you are destined to be, I want you to go beyond this paradigm, which has fueled your younger self and resulted in your admission on campus. I want you to take ownership of your life, of your mind, as well as your education, and become responsible for your learning. This is the key difference between education here at UWE and your time spent in secondary school. You are going to be asked to go further, to ask questions, to do readings, to design your research topic, to explore with fellow students and faculty members in open-ended dialogue. You are taking a journey to a new place. And along this road, there'll be some hardships, but more importantly, there will be amazing times. Grasp, hold on to those amazing times. But as you take this journey, I would like you to take this journey with patience, with humility, with joy, and most of all, with your eye on your, desti on your destination. I want you to know that the entire university community is here to support you, sustain you, and encourage you as you commit to studying in our faculty. Ask for help. Visit a lecturer during office, office hours. Talk to our mentors. Talk to fellow students. Go to the library, go to the bookshop, go to the quadrangle. Explore our campus. Don't just stay in your, in your lecture rooms. This campus is here for you. And we not only want you to succeed, but we will do our best to help you succeed. I could not be more privileged to welcome you into this vibrant learning community. I look forward to your fresh ideas and to the energy that you will bring to our campus. I speak for all the staff in the Department of Economics in say, we are so happy that you have decided to join us and discover your power. So I'd just like to make a small plug. We'll be having our orientation, which is the Department of Economics orientation. This Friday, you would have already gotten all the materials. So we look forward to speaking with you more about our department and letting you know what is available to you. So with that, I'd like to just say welcome. Welcome to our family. Thank you very much, Anne-Marie. So, very encouraging words from each of the heads of departments. Get to know yourself. Embrace working in teams. Make a difference. Embrace new opportunities. Register your social footprint. Embrace newness. Explore. Be excited even when it gets tough. Become responsible for your learning. Enjoy this journey with patience, with joy. And so, so many nuggets for you to embrace and, and note the words, common word, it's a journey. So don't expect that you will attain everything overnight. And so we are here to journey with you. At this time in, in the program, we want to switch things up a little bit, and we do have some entertainment from our own Linnell Langine. 
And she is going to sing that song, A Million Dreams from the Greatest Showman. So relax and let us enjoy Linnell Langain. Linnell? Thank you so much. Um, as she said, my name is Lena Langa and I'm a student as well. I'm doing social work and I hope you guys enjoy this song. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. And through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. And they could say, they could say it all sounds crazy. And they could say, they could say we've lost our minds. And I don't care, I don't care if they call me Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be The vision of the one I see A million dreams, it's all it's gonna take Oh, a million dreams for the world gonna make mm -hmm. and there's a house we can build every room inside is filled with things from far away and special things I compiled each one there to make you smile on a rainy day and they could say they could say it all sounds crazy and they could say they could say we've lost our minds and I don't care I don't care if they call us crazy Every night I lie in bed The brightest colors fill my head A million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be A vision of the one I see A million dreams, it's all it's gonna take Oh, a million dreams for the world Big, however small, let me be part of it all. Share your dreams with me. You may be right, you may be wrong, but say that you'll bring me along to the world you see, to the world we close our eyes to see. We close our eyes to see cause every night I lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head a million dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be a vision of the one I see a million dreams are all it's gonna take oh a million dreams for the world we're gonna make thank you so much back to you dean oh that was beautiful beautiful and i am seeing the chat is lighting up lighting up the so 
Yes, we are applauding. I'm seeing in the chat, hats off to you, beautiful. And so FSS has talent. <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much, so much, Linnell, for encouraging us all with that beautiful song. And at, at this time, we want to hand over our virtual podium to Dr. Deidre Charles, who is the Director of the Division of Student Services and Development. And Deidre will share with us some of the many services that are support services that are available to, to you as you, you join us. So let me hand over to, to Dr. Charles. Valued students, what a pleasure it is to be among the first to welcome you to your first year at the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. We are truly happy to have you join us. And without a doubt, much excitement is in the air as we prepare to support your integration into the UE family. Your first year of university is an incredibly important chapter in your life. And let me assure you that through your participation in our first year experience program, which we call FYE, you will be exposed to all that you need to be successful. As a new student, FYE is crucial in building your foundation. The program will provide you with some important information, introduce you to key campus resources, and grant you the invaluable opportunity of meeting other first-year students just like yourself, with whom you can share this journey build community, and form lifelong friendships. We encourage you to get involved, participate in FYE events and activities, enroll in your FYE course, and be sure to engage and benefit from all FYE support resources. Congratulations from all of us at the Division of Student Services and Development, the DSSD. We look forward to partnering with you in achieving your goals and making your university experience an exceptional one. Thank you very much, Deidre. So note the consistent message coming across. Get involved. Yes, we want you to do well academically, but we want you to get involved. Embrace all the opportunities available to you. And with that, talking about opportunities and academic excellence, we do have with us Ms. Georgia Alexander from the Alma Jordan Library, who will give us a little insight into the services that are available at our library facilities here on the campus. So Georgia, let me hand over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, and by that I say, welcome to the Alma Jordan Library, fondly known as the AJL. So I'm just going to give you, as Dean Cameron stated, just a, a taste, like a trailer of what's to come and what awaits you when you visit the Alma Jordan Library. So the campus, the UE campus libraries, it's made up of a network of several libraries of which the Alma Jordan Library is one. We have other libraries such as the Arts and Lockchain School of Business Library, the Norman Govan Library, Medical Sciences Library at Mount Hope, the School of Ed Library, the Seismic Research Unit Library, and the Patients to Nurses, I'm sorry, I don't pronounce that well, Memorial Library at um, Mount St. Benedict. So our library, it's made up of four floors. So you have um, study spaces. The social sciences faculty, it's on the fourth floor. I'm filling in for Mr. Yakub Hosein, who is the social sciences liaison librarian who's currently on leave. And um, so I'm just going to give you 
a general overview that would pertain to all the things that you would need to know. And the details will come when you come and visit us for orientation and for Guildfest. Plus, we're always here to receive your questions, your queries, or any guidance you may need. So this is just, as I said, an intro. So we study spaces for individual and group. We have two computer labs where you can print and access the internet for a certain period of time. We have the 24-7 reading room, which when typically in the pre-COVID era, the library would close at 10 p.m. from Monday to Friday, and then that area would open up for a safe and quiet study area. We have a wide collection. Now I know students, I mean, myself included, we all love Google, and Google is wonderful, as well as it has its limitations. So as a full-time registered student, you full, fully registered student, sorry, you can benefit from a wide range of resources in terms of databases. We have a wide range of print and non-print collections in terms of journals, e-journals, audiovisual materials, um, maps, um, microfilms, and you name it, we have it. And the university has paid for courses so that you have free access. So don't just limit yourself to a Google search. Beyond Google, there's a whole other world of very valuable, relevant, scholarly information that you would need to do your academic assignments. Uh, so there are a number of resources you can benefit from. In terms of services, we have an Ask a Librarian chat. It's called LibChat, and it's available Monday to Friday from 10 p.m. to 4 p.m. Any question, as Dean Cameron said at the beginning, there's no stupid question. Once you have a question, it's important to you and we're there to facilitate, where a member of staff would come on live on the chat and speak with you, depending on what your query is. They will answer it. If they can't answer it immediately, they will take a note and get back to you within a, a timely manner. So even when um, you're stuck in a rut or you can't get to the library, you have to ask our staff and to any questions you may have. We have research assistance available. Of course, our loans. I'm actually the Circulations and Access Services Division Library. So we are the first group of friendly faces you see when you enter the library building, the Alma Jordan Library. And we're here to serve you once the library is open. And we also have electronic device loans, which started during the pandemic as a promise to students as we went into almost fully digital mode in terms of classes and that kind of thing. So some students, they needed devices, they didn't have direct access to devices while we were in lockdown. So we have MiFi, tablet loans and laptop loans, but to access these loans, you have to go through the deputy principal's office. You just send an email to that email address. And all this information is on our website, as well as visible on our Facebook page, which is constantly, if you have a look, we're always asking you to like our page. So as a little hint and a plug to like our Facebook page, the Alma Jordan Library at UE St. Augustine. And the information is always updated. I will share things with the social sciences faculty and they would do us justice by sharing it on their page as well. The Guild, I mean, a number of places, marketing. So you can never say that the library isn't present in student spaces and the information is just about uh, everywhere. We also have document delivery. If you find there's an article that is not available in our databases, you can write to us at the CAS division. All the emails are on the website, the Alma Jordan Library website, and we will try and source it from the British Library and other sources so that you can have it. So you're never without resources one way or the other, and it's free of charge to our registered students. We also have research guides that our librarians have taken the time to provide quick reference that you on the page as well, on the um, research guides. We have citing and references. Normally we would have a thesis bootcamp when you get to that part of your academic journey and you need help with thesis checking. It's free of charge, citing and references. We have library instruction, which would give you a basic orientation onto information literacy to show you how to search our site or databases to get the most out of it. We also have, um, UE Intellectual Property Desk, Help Desk, which is housed at the library. So if you, along the course, 
or if you've always had an idea about an entrepreneur and innovator and you have an idea that you want to patent and that kind of thing and you need some guidance, we have a free consultancy service which is facilitated by experts in the field of intellectual property of the Trinidad and Tobago Intellectual Property Office. It's available by Zoom for now. It used to be in person every Thursday of the month from like one to four, they would come here so you can do a drop in or you could book a session to come and speak with a, a consultant. I mean, these are real professionals in the field. They're very much attached to WIPO, World Intellectual Property Office based in Geneva. So it's not just one of the mill people and it's free of charge. It's now available via Zoom consultation. So you can go on our website and scroll along to services, you will see IP Health, IP Health Desk. And not just students, faculty, throughout the UE St. Augustine campus community. So we have all these wonderful services here to facilitate your journey, to make sure that you achieve academic success and that you actually discover your power. So I would like to wrap up my little session today. And on behalf of the campus librarian, Mr. Frank Sudin and Miss Allison Dolan, the Deputy Campus Librarian, thank you for joining this little session of Jordan Library, just to give you an intro of what we offer. And there's so much more than what I've said today. So in the words of Dr. Maya Angelou, the late Dr. Maya Angelou, she said, and this is a popular quote, people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. So we aspire the Alma Jordan Library to make you feel welcome, to make you feel appreciated as part of our campus community and to have experience possible. Thank you. Over to you, Dean Cameron. Sorry. <laughs> yes, um, thank you very much, Georgia, for sharing. Uh, I'm seeing the comment from Celeste in the um, chat. I always liked libraries. And, and, and Vanessa is agreeing. So I am sure that Alma Jordan Library will be, unlike the others you probably would have passed through during your time in secondary school. So make sure when you come on campus next to pop in and take a tour. There will be tours available uh, in the library and they will be able to show you the resources that are available on the fourth floor. So as we come nearer to the, to the end of our short program, orientation program this afternoon, I want to allow uh, Lisa McDonald, again, the, the virtual podium, to share with us about a course that, a co-curricular course that the faculty offers entitled Workplace Protocol for Students. You would have heard it said among the, the heads that take the opportunity to develop all of you and not just the specific program that you will be in, engaging in. But this particular co-curricular course, like many of the others on offer, provide you an opportunity to develop different skills, different types of skills. This one in particular, the, the focus is on preparing you for the world of work. And so Lisa McDonald is the coordinator for that, for that course and uh, you will hear a little bit from her in terms of what that course entails. So I will hand over to Lisa now. Good day and a warm, warm welcome to you. Special welcome to new and continuing students. So let me ask my first question. Why are you doing this degree? A lot of you will give me a few different types of answers, but at the root of it, you want to get a job. After this degree, you want to get a job, and not just any job. You want to get a good job with an excellent salary. So let me go to my second question then. What are employers looking for in persons that they hire? Well, they of course, they want someone with a degree for certain positions. But in addition to that, they want someone who is a critical thinker, who is an effective communicator, IT skill, they innovated the entrepreneurial. They will see some see a problem and, and come up with a, some, a solution and promote that solution. They're globally aware, they're well grounded, and they have strong ethical values. So the university realizing that these soft skills are required, 
for many years now have had co-curricular courses which assist in the development of these soft skills. These co-curricular courses, you can do up to six course credits within your, your degree and those six course credits come towards your year one course credits. So, as I said, we have a wide variety of, of co-curricular courses, from IT courses to public speaking, to steel pan, defensive driving, you name it. But what I would like to speak to you in particular today is the ones that are offered under the Faculty of Social Sciences. Firstly, let me speak about financial literacy. Anything that you buy in life takes money and you have decisions to make. Do I buy this item in higher purchase? Do I buy it using my cash? Do I buy it using my credit card? What are the pros and cons of each of those? Now that I've acquired all these things, maybe I should buy some insurances. What types of insurances are there out there? How do I decide which company to go for with my insurance? Is it different benefits that they're offering to this insurance package? The financial literacy course will give you that kind of information. And what it will enable is that you will make your money work better for you, your hard earned dollars work better for you. Secondly, we have a co-curricular course called Ethics and Integrity. And that course look, takes you through looking critically at your values and your ethics, how you deal with ethical dilemmas, and it, it actively it encourages you to help you develop a higher level of ethics and values. And we've just spoken about how important ethics and values are in the workspace. And thirdly, and my most favorite, I mean, it's only that I lecture the course, so maybe, no, I don't think I'm biased, is workplace protocols for students. How many of you all have worked before? How many of you all have never worked in the workspace before? How many of you have worked and have encountered challenges? This course, Workplace Protocols, tells you what the workspace is like. It gives you concepts, strategies, best practices of how to negotiate effectively within that workspace. This co-curricular course makes a link between what happens in the workspace and what happens in your student life. So through the course, through very interactive means, we are actively developing those soft skills. So in closing, I would just like to say have a look at your 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 program your degree program see where it allows electives and choose one of the co-curriculars because this is how you can actively develop your soft skills during your stay here so thank you very much and i wish you an exciting and uh, rewarding and successful academic journey here at the university Right, so that's your introduction to the co-curricular credits or courses that you can pursue in your first year. And wrapping up our program this afternoon, we have none other, none other than our guild, student guild representatives. We have with us the social sciences guild representatives. Representative is Khadija Khan. And we do have a rep from the guild in each of the departments, and we would like to give them an opportunity to welcome you. And I know that it's easiest to, to go to your peers when there is an issue, there's a challenge, you're not too sure. So we are giving you the opportunity to put a face to the names and have an idea as to how to reach out to these persons if you're experiencing any challenges in your respective departments. So I will hand over again our virtual podium to Khadija Khan and the, the Guild team for the Faculty of Social Sciences. Hey everyone, my name is Khadija Khan and I'm your faculty representative on the Guild of Students 2022-2023, telling you to discover your power and create your future. Hello everyone, my name is Taisha Lovell and I am your Department of Behavioral Sciences representative. I want to warmly welcome you all to the Faculty of Social Sciences and wish you all success in the upcoming academic year. Hi guys, I'm Amelia Anderson, your Management Studies Department representative, 2022 to 2023. 
and I can tell you guys to always put your best foot forward. You never know what's beyond the threshold if you don't open the door. Good day fellow Lions. My name is Petrus Edward Jr. and I am the Department of Economics representative. Strive towards becoming the best person you can be and remember, work towards changing the world and never let the world change you. My name is Emilio Hernandez and I am your representative for the Department of Political Science. Welcome to you. Don't count the days, make the days count and I encourage you to embrace this new experience. We are encouraging you to be socially engaged and solutions oriented. Oh, that was wonderful. Khadija, thank you so much for that welcome. I think you, it, it, the staff members are also getting an opportunity to see who they, the reps are. And we are certainly looking forward to engaging with you over the upcoming year. Ladies and gents, colleagues, we are coming to the, the, the end of our the end of our short program. As I said, we will be engaging you for an hour and it is exactly two o'clock. So we are sticking to our word. However, before we close this session, we would like to give you about five minutes if anyone has burning questions that they want to ask or comments that you want to make as we bring this session to a close. You can put your comment or question in the chat, but if you want to open your mic and, and uh, make a comment or, as I said, ask a, a burning question, we'll give you that opportunity to do so now. Right? So if you want to, if you want, and the heads of departments and the administrative staff will address the questions in the chat and um, we will give you an opportunity to hear your voice. So I see Laura. Laura, you can, you can open your mic. Hi, good afternoon. I was wondering if the individual departments um, orientations, if it's in person, if it's virtual like this one. Um, the heads, you all want to respond or put it in the chat? In Cameroon, I can say it's Anne Marie from the Department of Economics. Always it's virtual. We're having it uh, like a town hall, and it's for this Friday, 9 till 12. Thank you. Yes, and behavioral sciences will also be virtual for first years on the 24th at 5 p.m. And we will be sending emails out to students before the end of the week for that. The same for the Department of Management Studies. We will be virtual and we will be sending out emails inviting you to uh, the orientation session. I believe the, the same would be for political science. So it's all virtual, right? We have some questions in the chat and the, the administrative assistants will respond to those questions and the heads. Uh, yes, Laura B. Hi, um, good afternoon. Um, I'm just wondering, there are still people who have not, who are still waiting on their acceptance. And although the meeting for these departments are later on this week, some people are still waiting for an acceptance coming in probably next week. So will there be another meeting after, after this one, this Friday? Uh, for those students who will be receiving their acceptance packages over the course of this week and next week, those students will be able to access the departments directly. So, and they will be accommodated in the respective departments. So there will not be another general meeting for, for all the students, but they will be able to get the advising in the departments. Okay, thank you. Welcome. On behalf of my colleagues in the Faculty of Social Sciences, again, we want to close as we started by warmly welcoming you to the Faculty of Social Sciences, where we are socially engaged and solutions oriented. We look forward to meeting each of you in your respective departments. And as we always say, and you would have heard it in, in all the presentations, get involved. Do not suffer in silence. You have your guild reps. You have the administrative staff, the academic staff. We are all here to take you by your right hand and lead you along the path of this journey. So please reach out to us. Um, each person is here waiting to support you. And we want to wish you every success. And we trust that this academic year will be productive, that you will settle in quickly, and that you will grasp every opportunity that is open and available to you. 
So with that being said, thank you for joining us and we will be engaging with you soon. So we are signing off and see you on the campus within the next two weeks. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day.